space and the angled volleys, the drop volleys work so well on this court. It's laid on a wooden platform so the ball doesn't bounce particularly high. Oh, it's brilliant stuff. Got a serious set of wheels on him. And given that he's almost six foot four, gets around the court remarkably well. Kowali reacts to this back in. He has to get it quickly while it's still above the heart of the net because then he can be aggressive with the shot. Just a teasing pass. Almost thought he could get there. so good with that first pass, aren't they? Yeah, it's almost like a set-up pass, that's what I like to call it, because they don't go for the outright winner. They look to just set up the point. Just gets it down low, so difficult for Djokovic from their position. He's going to lose the ball. Oh, there's the break. A little glance from Djokovic over to his camp as if to say, how did that happen? I was in control of this match. He's made it. I can't believe Djokovic didn't play that. That was a good... Crunch. things around for Djokovic. Yeah, that'll do it. It was a struggle, no question about it. <laughs> Just uh, venting a little bit of frustration in that one. Yeah, it's another net core that keeps him alive. to his aid, manages to turn. And it's working the angles there like that 
diamond cutter. That's what I've done, what an easy shot. So, so remember, it's Djokovic's backhand we're talking about there. Do just about anything. Makes the racket like a wand with that shot. Slide into the shot as well. here in the third. That's his forehand down the line that really puts him in pole position. Oh, beautiful touch. Squizzer touch to say the least. I thought initially the variety from Djokovic was outstanding. Good disguise. Oh, well, uh, Davy did to make up the yards and return one drop shot with another. Two hours and 45 minutes.